Quihards lineup in Yuba City. But first, an early morning house fire in Olivehurst. I'm Laura Vandermeer, and here's your ADTV webcast for Thursday, November 15th, 2012. A house on Canal Street near 4th Avenue was gutted by flames early this morning, but luckily nobody was hurt. Nobody was home at the time. Neighbors didn't know the people living inside, but did know at least one of the residents was a toddler, and they rushed to help in their pajamas, using garden hoses to spray tall flames and the heavy smoke. Fire officials said the cause of the fire is still under investigation, but that it does not seem suspicious. And a Sikh temple director was arrested yesterday in connection with the weekend melee at the Tierra Buena Gurdwara that sent three people to the hospital. 43-year-old Mangal Singh Sangara of Yuba City was booked into the Sutter County Jail on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon. He is being held without bail on a probation violation. Captain Lewis McElfresh said the investigation is ongoing and more arrests are expected in coming days. 46-year-old Balbir Baines was stabbed in the stomach on Sunday. McElfresh said Baines identified Sangara as the suspected attacker. And Twilight fans are lined up in front of the Yuba City Cinemark right now, some for the movie marathon and others for the opening of Breaking Dawn Part 2. Well, we've noticed a trend. The, uh, the more popular they got and the more the movies progressed, the earlier people would get here. In fact, we were even the first people. It's fun. It's real fun, actually. It's fun. I think it's fun. I like it. It's fun. It's so fun. Uh, well, we've been out here for four hours now, and we just, last year we did seven hours, and we still had to wrap around the building, but we're only a couple of people in line now, so we're doing pretty good. One, two, three. See you, Jacob! Ever since Twilight came out, I've been collecting t-shirts, and when I saw Eclipse, and when Bella's mom gave her a t-shirt quilt, I thought that was a great idea, something that I could do for my t-shirts. So I decided to make a quilt about a year ago. I've been collecting shirts more and um, it was really hard to cut them, but I got it done and now I have a great quilt. And you can always check movie times on our website. Just go to the entertainment tab at the top of the home page and scroll to movie listings. Well, the Northern section semifinals for Division Two are heating up as the Sutter Huskies prepare to take on the number four seeded Orland Trojans. Here's more from senior safety, Philip Robaledo. Talk about how, how much motivation you guys have going into this game, knowing that this is the team that ended your guys' section title aspirations in 2011. It's, it's playoffs. I mean, every team is going to try to knock us off, but there's a little bit more onto that, knowing that, that we lost to them twice last year. And I think it's going to, I mean, anything can happen on a Friday night. So we're prepared. When you come into this matchup, you know you've already played them here once already, and that was actually your guys' closest game margin of victory-wise. Uh, talk about that a little bit, what you've seen from Orland this year. What are they good at uh, coming into this game, knowing that you've already played them once? They run the ball very well, and I, th I think we were, I mean, they had an eight-minute drive the very first quarter, and we stuck it to them the rest of the game. But if we bring our A game, I mean, they do everything all right pretty well. When you play somebody for the second time in the season, does that help you guys at all as a defense when you see something from them uh, and you know already playing four quarters of football? Talk about that a little bit, uh, how that helps you when you've already played a team. It's definitely a little bit harder to beat a good team twice, yes. but seeing the same offense kind of familiarizes us with their star players, and it's, I think it's a little bit easier. Uh, for you personally, you know, third year in a row you've been in a playoff situation. You and Ryan Stoss and Garrett Wallace and Trent Little, you guys have been here before. Talk about how that experience kind of helps you, and maybe you can help some of the younger guys how to deal with uh, going for a section title and going through this playoff run. We just spread, you know, it goes by really fast. And we had, what, three, ch this is our third chance at it, and we haven't come up short every time. So I think we're going to try to finish this one out and just show them how to win again and win finish it out. Okay, well, he's Philip Robledo. Come and check out him and the Huskies on Friday night as they take on Orland in the Northern Section Division II semifinals. Thanks, Jimmy, and watch ADTV tomorrow to hear from the Huskies coach, Ryan Reynolds. That's your ADTV webcast for Thursday, November 15th, 2012. For updates on these stories and more, go to appealdemocrat.com or pick up a copy of the AD, your Yuba Center news leader, at your favorite newsstand.